Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do an example with ocean waves. Here we're given the equation that describes the velocity of a wave, of a water wave, depending upon the depth. And we're given that the wavelengths are 12 meters long and that the velocity is equal to 4 meters per second. And in this case, we're supposed to find the depth of the ocean or the depth of the lake over which the water or the waves are traveling. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we're given everything except D. So what we want to do here is probably square both sides. And when we do that, we get V squared is equal to G times lambda divided by 2 pi times the hyperbolic tangent of 2 pi D over lambda. Okay, next, what we can do is we can separate these because we want to isolate this here. And so we can write that 2 pi times v squared divided by g times lambda is equal to the hyperbolic tangent of 2 pi d divided by lambda. And now what we can say is that the inverse hyperbolic tangent should be equal to that quantity. So the inverse hyperbolic tangent of this should be equal to this. Now before we do that, let's plug in some values and see what this is equal to. So we have 2 pi times v squared, now v is equal to 4, so that would be 4 squared, divided by g is 9.8, and lambda, we were given it to be 12. All right, and that would be equal to the hyperbolic tangent of, and here we get 2 pi divided by 12 times d, of course d being the unknown quantity here. So let's see what that is equal to. 0 0.8549. I'm keeping a few extra decimal places so we don't have a rounding error. So this is equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of, or I should say the hyperbolic tangent, not yet the inverse, of 2 times pi divided by 12, 0 0.5236 times d. And now we have to find d, so we can do that by saying that the hyperbolic, or the inverse hyperbolic tangent or, better yet, I'll do it like this, 0.5236d is equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 0.8549. And now we just have to find the inverse hyperbolic tangent of that. 1.2749. And so finally we can solve for d. Let me bring it over here. So now we can say that d is equal to 1.2741 divided by 0 0.5236. And so finally we can say that d is equal to 0.5236, about 2.4 meters. So if the waves are traveling at 4 meters per second, and the wavelength is 12 meters, we can assume the depth is about 2.4 meters, and that's how that's done.